Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ and Drill and today I'm here with Zillow. Now, if you're a homeowner and you want to get into DIY, there are three tools every DIYer needs in their toolbox. Now, the first one and the most important one is a cordless drill. Now, I'll tell you, when you're selecting a cordless drill, the thing you want to take into consideration is how does it feel in your hand? You're looking for a drill that's just right for you. Now, this drill here, well, it's on the smaller side. It's a 12 volt. It's easy to handle. What's good about a cordless drill is it has real flexibility. You're not tethered to a cord, so if you have to work outside and work on the roof, you're not really worried about a power supply. Now, the other thing that is so valuable about a cordless drill is it can double not only as a drill to bore holes, but also as a screwdriver. Now the next tool is something that everybody's seen and that is a circular saw. Now why are these things so valuable? Well, I'll tell you, they're very versatile when it comes to the kinds of lumber and stock you can cut. You're not just limited to cutting wood. You can cut laminate, you can cut paneling, you can cut even plexiglass. Now here's the thing, you don't have to purchase the most expensive circular saw. Just something that your budget's going to allow. And if you're going to make a big investment, invest in the saw blade itself because that's really the workhorse of the tool. The next tool and the last tool you'll want to have in your toolbox is this. Now, what is it? It's an electric oscillating multi tool. I know that's a mouthful, so we're just going to call it a multi tool. Now, what I like about this tool is it has multiple functions. You know, you're not limited. Now, right now I have a piece of sandpaper attached. You're not just limited to sanding, but this tool also cuts and it scrapes as well. So the multi-tool comes with various blades. Blades that perform different jobs. This blade here is a blade that's for grout removal. In the event that you want to remove the grout in your tile and then re-grout. We have another blade here that's ideal for scraping. And then our third blade here, it's serrated so it's a cutting tool. And those are the things that I really love about the multi-tool. Now, before operating any power tool, it's always a good idea to wear eye protection and hearing protection as well. Now, the first thing I'm gonna demonstrate is I'm just gonna bore a hole with this cordless drill and show you just how easy it is. Now, the other thing that makes this so versatile is the fact that you can change the bit so quickly and use it as a screwdriver as well. Now, I'm just going to drive this self-tapping screw. And there you go. That's why this is such a valuable tool. Now, the next tool that's up is the circular saw. Now, before you make any adjustments to the blade, make certain that the tool isn't energized. Make certain that the cord is unplugged before you set the depth of the blade. The next thing you want to be mindful of is to make certain that your project is securely clamped to the table. When you operate a circular saw, you want to bring it up to speed before you actually make the cut. And I always like to, the blade to come to a complete stop before I let go of the tool. That way I don't take any chances whatsoever getting my hands or my clothing caught in the blade. Okay, so the thing about the oscillating tool, when you're using it as a sander, it's really great for tight spaces. Now, for demonstration purposes, we're just using a 2x4 to show how it sands. Now that's just a quick intro to three power tools every homeowner should own. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.